It's propagation time! Who doesn't love propagation? Propagation is fun, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's the best way to multiply your houseplant collection. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I propagate five of my houseplants. Number one, Begonia maculata YTI, also called angel wing begonia or uh, polka dot begonia because all these beautiful, gorgeous green leaves, uh, they have these white little dots, kind of look like leaf freckles. <laughs> And I just adore them. I think they're so cute. So it's uh, begonia is very easily to be propagated. You can probably propagate by leaf cutting or by stem cutting. So today I'm going to do a stem cutting. All right, let me get this guy up here. So I don't want to touch the tallest one. I think this guy is getting a little laggy. So I'm going to cut probably right here, just a little bit above this leaf. Look at how long these leaves are. They're longer than my hand. So I want the stem to be a little long. So when I stick in the pot later on, it wouldn't, the leaves wouldn't just hunt out of the pot and touch the ground, you know? So I want to try to keep the stem long. So I will do it right here. Oh, okay. I think I just cut off a perfect pair of angel's wing. Like literally, some angel's wing would cut off by me. Look at that perfect symmetry. Oh, I feel so bad right now. But you know what? The root's gonna grow out of these stems. And later when I transfer it to soil, it'll look really gorgeous. And there's gonna be new leaves uh, popping up. So here I'll take a jar with water and just set in here. All right, the next one, Cebu Blue. The way you propagate this guy is the same as how you would uh, a pothos or a pothos, what's a pothos? <laughs> a pothos. You will find uh, leaves with nodes. That's when, that's where you wanna cut. That's where the roots will grow out. So I usually like to cut these long trailing ones. Let's do this one. I think I'm gonna cut all the way to here. So here is an aerial root and we will cut right below it. There. And now we have a really nice little string. What we will do is find each node and cut right below the node. That's a node. That's one. And then we don't need these extra stems. So that's a waste. That's a second one. And that's a third one. fourth one and for the last one I think I'm going to put in water like this to keep these two leaves together just because this guy is really really small and there's new leaf coming so I'm not sure if this one will uh, even root or will you know root properly will be okay by itself so it's better to have a more mature leaves to photosynthesis and everything. Okay, so I'm going to take a jar with water and I'm going to put these guys in here. All right, so make sure that all the nodes are below the water and then you're good to go. In about a week, or a week and a half, I should see roots. Okay, next one, watermelon peperomia. This guy is getting really popular right now and I know it's quite hard to find, uh, which I'm very surprised because they're super easy to propagate. You can do leaf cutting, you can do stem cutting, There's you can do root division because sometimes it comes, one pot comes with three or four um, plants. So yeah, they're just like piley, a super easy, um, but quite pricey and uncommon. So I'm going to 
uh, propagate this guy and once the root develop, the little baby come out, I can make new plants and give my friends. I'm going to do stem cutting. Stem cutting is one way that I prefer rather than um, leaf cutting. So for leaf cutting, what you can do is you can take one leaf and then literally just cut through the leaf uh, and then stick it in the soil. That's one way, but that's not my most preferred ways. So what I do is I pick one ugly looking leaf. <laughs> so I know a lot of people say you should pick a healthy looking one and to start a new plant. But for me is um, it really that one leaf, all it does is to photosynthesis so it could develop roots, so it could provide energy to grow uh, new leaves. The new leaves are what matter. So this one, this one leaf that's being sacrificed, propagated, don't matter that much for the future plant that you're gonna have. So I'm going to pick an ugly looking one. So the winner is gonna be this guy because this guy has some splits already. So might as well just sacrifice this guy. How long do you cut it? I've tried long, I've tried short. It really doesn't matter. But for the convenience of propagation, uh, I think it's easier for me to cut a little longer. So when I stick in the jar, it could you know, like stay pretty well. But anyways, I'm just going to cut all the way to the base. There we go. Okay, so we have this one ugly leaf, but this one ugly leaf is gonna make a beautiful family right out of the roots. I'm going to show you my uh, previous propagations. I have these guys in water for, I will say at least a month now. So this is the one we just cut. And these four are the ones that propagated a month ago. Now the roots are developing really well, and especially this guy, if you can see, there are some grains happening there. The first baby leaves are about to pop out. I'm very excited. Maybe two or three baby leaves pop out. I will transfer it to soil. So this is one example of how I transfer them to soil after uh, the new leaves grown out. I just basically put them in soil and I have to use a little stick to support the mother plant. So I know some people will say if you cut it shorter then you don't need a support. That's a good point. Uh, but I just, I prefer this way. Whatever you think is convenient, you do it. Uh, yeah, the stem length really don't matter. I just prefer them this way. I think it's really cute. I'm the mother, I'm the tallest. <laughs> so you can see, they're the mother, they're the babies. I love this type of composition. So I'm excited for these guys to grow roots and have babies. I'm going to do the same. Parents up here, babies down there. Next one, Monstera Deliciosa. So I'm gonna take this baby out of this decorative pot. She is still in her nursery pot. And as you can see, all these crazy aerial roots are just growing out of control. But it's perfect because when you see aerial roots, that means you can propagate. So I'm going to uh, probably just propagate this guy because this arm has been going that direction for forever. So I'm going to get rid of this guy and uh, yeah, put this in water and uh, give it away. So I'm taking a knife now just because um, it's, the stem is very thick. So I don't think the scissors are gonna work. It might make a very ugly cut. So let's do a clean cut with knife. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit to make sure you guys can see it. So these two uh, are the leaves I'm going to cut. And this is the aerial roots. Make sure that you're gonna include the aerial roots with the leaves. So I'm going to cut right below the aerial roots. Oh, perfect! Yes! That was so adorable! This guy's adorable, I love it. See, it's a very clean cut over here. Uh, I know if you want to transfer this guy to soil right away, what you can do, you can put cinnamon powder on here to kind of protect the wounds. But if you put them in water, I don't think it matters, the, the wounds, I, it, it'll be okay. 
So as long as you have the every rules, you're gonna be good. Perfect. The last one, Jokina Florida Beauty. This guy is a very easy houseplant and the variegation is just out of this world. Uh, but in order to keep this beautiful variegation, you have to make sure you give it very bright sunlight, bright, bright light. So I put it very, very close to my west facing window and this guy is doing great. Look at all these new shoots coming out. Um, these light neon green, they're all brand new leaves popped up past two weeks. So I'm very happy. And I actually propagate these guys about, let me think, three weeks ago and they are all well rooted especially this guy the roots grown very long and very healthy so what i'm going to do is transfer this guy back to the pot so the plant looks fuller and we're gonna propagate back to the pot instead of cutting it but then again if you want to propagate this plant very easy way is just cut anywhere on the stem because the roots will grow right out of the stem wherever you cut it. It's very, very, very easy to propagate. I think this area is pretty bald. I'm going to stick these guys back to this area so it looks a little fuller. You could choose to use rooting hormone or not. It's your choice and I'm not going to use rooting hormone now just because they have pretty decent root and uh, these guys just you can't kill them. They're, I think they're very easy plant and they're very easy to propagate. I propagate them tons, tons and tons before so um, they always they always root so I don't worry about it. I'm just going to stick them back in like that. Boom! Alright, so you can use propagation technique to multiply your plants and also you can use propagation to fix your bald spots in your plant. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. These are all the five plants that I'm propagating today. I hope you learned something. If you have any question, please comment below. If you want to share about other ways to propagate that I didn't use here, you can also comment below. Please share that information with us and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!